Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 16th of January 2026, I hope you're doing well. Uh, um, it's going to be a day of Sudoku for me because I've just heard that my afternoon slash evening work has been cancelled after people at the other side are sick, after me being sick for such a long time and I was ready to start today even though I'm not completely better. Um, apparently the other people at the other end are sick and also... Uh, worried about the uh, PM 2.5 levels and not willing to go to work as well so uh, but this particular group I can't work online with them so anyway I shall be here playing Sudoku all day uh, in a perfect illustration of his stupidity and greed at the same time apparently uh, <laughs> Donald Trump now possesses the Nobel Peace Prize medal by which I mean the actual thing itself uh, the medal itself, and presumably mean that you know it, uh, Trump, because he is because of his desire to own everything and put his name on everything. I mean, you know, of course, he desperately wants to grab a hold of everything. I wonder if he grabbed a hold of Maria M Machado as she gave him a, her medal uh, to m appease him and uh, make him feel better. Now, of course, uh, he's so stupid that he now thinks. He doesn't really understand the way that uh, awards work. I mean, you know, the point of gaining an award is your recognition for doing something, not the fact that you hold the gong that comes with it. I mean, you could go to the, a second-hand market and buy some old World War II medals, I'm sure. That wouldn't make you a, uh, <laughs> a hero from World War II, would it? Oh, man, it's just so... It, I, th I find it hilarious, actually. It's so funny. The man is so stupid and greedy at, at the same time. He just can't stop. He just can't help himself, can he? Uh, I have no idea if that's going to help Machado to be uh, installed as president. Uh, she, of course, did win the Nobel Peace Prize. She's a bit of a... Hmm, not sure what, what she is, really. Uh, let's see. Uh, but it's He said that she was too nice to be president, right? So, <laughs> in fact, the current... Uh, regime that's operating in Venezuela is still pretty much the same one minus Maduro uh, we have no idea what will go on there um, but it's all um, dumb as hell I think I should send him my telephone bill if I send him my telephone bill and that means he has it does that mean he has to pay oh unfortunately that's not a good idea because of course he is famous for not paying his bills anyway so maybe that one won't work Maybe I should just design a new Plonker of the Year award and send it to him. Since he, I'm sure he doesn't know, um, even though he apparently knows all the big words, uh, he probably wouldn't know what Plonker means in British English and therefore he might accept it willingly with that stupid grin on his face. Shall we get on with our game of Sudoku? This is the Guardian's um, hard level Sudoku puzzle for Friday. Another week with no work from me, for me. Uh, let's see then. Hmm. This looks like a rocket ship, actually. Uh, come on, where are you? I, you must be there somewhere. There we are. Four blocking down here, down there. Gives me four in that square there. That's how we're going to start. Oh, I've suddenly got hunger pangs. I should have had breakfast before beginning, maybe. <laughs> We've got two blocking across here, so two will be in one of those squares blocking down here, two blocking down here, two across there, meaning that's a two. Six across this way, six across that way, and six down there means that's a six. And then two blocking across here and two blocking up here will give me two in that square and two to the ends here. Not the ends of the earth, just the ends of the grid. Okay. 
okay this column is lacking one three and five so three and five bang onto that square there and say you have to be a one five obviously now still blocks that square there so that would be the five down there and then the three will finish the column up here I can see oh no I can't <laughs> no I can't I think I'm gonna to have to go through the numbers one by one stopping on the way of course to examine things uh, anything that catches my eye so what's caught my eye now is that one and nine block across here I mean one in one of these squares here blocking across there and nines in those squares so that's a pair of one and nine in those squares there that's what's caught my eye uh, is there anything else that I can do Three. Oh, we're looking for four six eight across here that's not much help uh, it gives me fours there how about the squares that are not four, six, or eight? Uh, three, five, two, three, five, seven. Is that right? Two, three, five, seven. Not much. No, I should just carry on what I was going to do in the first place, which is to uh, go through bit by bit and see if there are any other easy numbers. There might still be. Yeah, look at that. There's a two up there. I should have got. Guarding was pretty good yesterday, quite tough it was yesterday, and uh, maybe today's is also going to be a tough game. Yesterday's New York Times, wow, I've got more double the views that I normally have at this time. So it must have been a tough game yesterday in the New York Times. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a bash. Here we are, eight. And I said that uh, this was eight in one of these squares. You know, I had one and nine over here, so we've got eight blocking here and there. That's got to be an eight there. <coughs> I think this was four, six, wasn't it? I'm reaching up to the top. Nine across this way. I was looking at other things apart from the nines there, but I should look at the nine, shouldn't I? Because that's a nine there, and this is a one now, as I pointed out before, we have one and nine 
in those squares one blocking up here there's one <coughs> excuse me one across here one across there I need a cup of tea I haven't had my tea yet and I'm an English man even though I live in Thailand and did give up tea for quite a while tea and coffee but I'm back on the tea again back on the hard brew <laughs> and uh, need one, need a cup in the morning like most people believe the average per cups consumption of tea per person in the UK is seven cups per person per day. And since some people don't drink tea, that means somebody has to drink 14 cups <laughs> to make up the average. Oh my God, it's a crazy place for tea. Five across there. Uh, this will be, and I know that's not true about the average thing, by the way. I, I was joking. Just for any newcomers, statistics is one thing we try to talk about sometimes on this channel right what are we looking for here three and something for sure so three blocking there there's the three can you tell me the something it looks like a seven seven across here across there there's a seven Uh, right, I think we'll... Okay, digit 1 and 9 are finished. Let's just hit on the other numbers and see if we can spot something new with the 2s. No. 3, yes, 3, blocking across there. There's our 3. We should come back here and place the 5, I think that is. And um, then the 4 that goes there. All right, let's start again. Two, any change on two? No, still in the same position. Three. Uh, yes, we've got three across here, across there, and up here. So that would be a three. And three blocking down here, down there. If I don't, I don't tell before I hold down the right key, it gives me a three in that square there. Three across and three down there. And there's a three. And that's the end of digit three. How about four? Four blocking down here, across there. There's a four, four blocking this square, this square, th sorry, I'm holding the wrong key again. Half the time when I'm blaming the keyboard, it's my fault because I'm holding the wrong key down. Four in that square there, <coughs> fives then. Not sure yet, six. Uh, not sure yet. Seven. Yep, on this side, seven blocking down, seven across there and across there. Seven blocking this square. We need seven in this row. It's got to go there. Seven across and up here. That's the last seven. How about digit eight? Yep, we've got 8 blocking this square, so in that top row there's the 8, and then 8 to the bottom gives us 8 here, 8 across there means that's an 8, 8 up here, 8 there, this is a 5, 5 blocking down, there's a 5 missing digit here is 6, and still need a 6 in this block here, and a 6 up there as well, oh, what's been going on with the 6s, I've been ignoring you, neglecting you, sorry digit 6. You've been out of my mind, out of sight, out of mind for a while. Six blocking down here, we need a six in this row. And we need a four to finish this row. Four blocks up, there's a four. Missing number there is five. Five blocks across there, that gives me five in that square. Five down here, there's a five. Missing number here is two. Oh, we've got one empty square. Two will finish it. That's our Guardian hard level puzzle. Not quite as tricky as yesterday's game. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'll, like I said, I'm going to be around all day now, so you just can't get rid of me. Take care. Bye-bye.